Welcome everybody, my name is Tommy T999 and this is the Star Wars Battlefront Kills of the Week. On screen now we start with some honourable mentions. First up it's Bath Rogue Brigadier, who is here on Scarif, trying to move up the beach, looking to activate the uplinks and clearing the sky of any Imperial troopers that try flying his way. Next up, this is Zerminator Z, who goes one-on-one -on -one with Bosk, which is normally going to end just like that, but what better way to get revenge than do this? That is sweet revenge indeed. And then finally, we've got Heyroy Nacho with Krennic. And yes, he has just sniped a rebel out of that U-Wing. Last week's winner, your votes gave Solo Fet YT the top spot, so he will move on to the kill of the month and then maybe even to the kill of the year. Plus, get himself a teacher when I'm branded t-shirt, so get in touch by the comments to make sure that I can get that to you as soon as possible. And you're about to see more kills, and all you need to do is vote for your favourite down below in the comments. And if you want to get involved in this series, it is simple. Just leave a link to your clip down below, and this could be you next week. Plus, you will be in with a chance of winning a T999 t-shirt as well. Before we get into the kills of the week, we've got some explosives of the week, and number five comes from Rue Overrated 2, who does a quick turn on and gets a nice triple. Follows that up with one more for good measure and jumps away to safety. Number four comes from Scooter Boy 07. Here on the Death Star, the thermal has gone in, and yes, that is a nice five piece. And number three, it's legit link 115, playing as Boba Fett. Moving on in towards this corridor, in goes the wrist rocket, and that is a lovely five piece as well. Number two comes from Matthias1810, who is looking to support that uplink area, and he does just that with one rocket, destroying a huge amount of enemies. And then the final explosive of the week is number one, and it comes from StonerJNN. The Rebels trying one last push for victory. But Stoner, make sure none of them survive. So here we go, into the kills of the week. First up, it is Kill A, and it comes from Youngblood 95XX. Oh, A nice pulse. double pulse cannon there to start things off. And then back to the EE3. He is going to hold down this entrance or exit for the Rebels, making sure none shall pass. Back to the pulse cannon. And there's another double, that's two doubles, with the Pulse Cannon, super happy with that, so is his teammate. And then carries on, owning this area. Don't forget, once you've seen all of the clips, all you need to do is vote for your favourite in the comments below. Just pick the letter and write that in the comments and that will be your vote for that kill. This is Kill B, and it comes from Benjamin K792. It's a game of Hero Hunt. He has just managed to down Skywalker. The timer, though, is counting down. He is only on 27 kills and has got a lot of work to do. There's just the seconds remaining. One second remains. No seconds remain, but he has been given the opportunity, and he's taking Chewy. Huge amount of work to do here. But Benjamin is not going to let this one go. Within no time, playing here as Chewbacca, he's already up to 36 kills. He needs 12 more. Well, even less than 12 now. He just needs... It's nine more now to tie for the lead. Nine will give him a victory now. All they need to do, though, is take him out, but they just cannot do it. Three more gone with a ground slam. He's down to 19, 15 health. It's now down to seven health. It is getting so tense. He's up to 46 kills, but there is the victory. 51 kills, hardly any health left, and what a way to win a round. Kill C. This is Android 2301. Nice work there to clear out those. Carries on in. He's got a shield around him, so he's going to move on in. A nice little roll. Takes him down. Brilliant work there to take down another one. Moves on out. And heads away to carry on. For the next stage, where he brings in an orbital strike. 
And then he's found even more here. A lovely flank. And the kill feed has gone nuts. Over a thousand points more. And off Android goes to continue his domination. Kill D. This is Prodigy Killer 323. Playing as Vader. And he is getting charged by Skywalker, Nine Nun, and Solo. That was me saying Han Solo, not Han Solo, before anyone says I said Han Han Ron. Just to clear that up. Takes down Skywalker, but has still got the other two all over him. This is such a clutch move. Great defense as well as offense. And there is the victory. 1,900 points in a matter of less than a minute. Killy comes from Spartacus 54-57. Playing as Bosk. Trying his luck with those grenades. And then it is time to move on in. Looking for Han Solo. Jin, Urso, and Lando. Jin is up first. And unfortunately for her, she is no match this time round for Bosk. Now has got the final two. Lando and Solo. But look at the score streak. Over 2,200. No, we're, we're way over that. We are now over 2,900 points as the round is his. Taking a break from the 10 kills, we've got some vehicle takedowns. Number five comes from Woody's 4CF. Takes to the sky to pluck that speeder out of the sky for a beautiful kill. Number four, it's Tanel's 53. And again, that is a beautiful jump shot with the pulse cannon to take down another speeder. Number three comes from Werbel Gargi. After taking one enemy down with his secondary fire, his focus is now on this cloud car. And yeah, the ion grenade does the business. Number two vehicle takedown of the week comes from Luffy9495. Playing here on best spin as Krennic. Picks up two rebel kills to start things off. Cloud car is looking for a way to come and get him, but no, yes, no chance there. But we are going to speed things up just a little bit because that cloud car is definitely not going to give in on this and it's going to try again and again. But unfortunately for him, Krennic yes, has his number. And the number one vehicle takedown, well, actually, it's got its own place in the kills of the week. It's Kill F, and it comes from Maximus007. There is your first strike. Speeder taken down. A second speeder taken down. Looking to take down number three. Can't quite get him. But does manage to take down a Y-Wing. And then goes straight back after that next speeder to try and protect the AT-ATs. It's coming in. But Maximus is on pure defense. He is going to make the Emperor proud with this little streak. Because again, he is the key protector and takes down another air speeder. And then plucks in a vehicle turret just to keep things even more interesting. And we're not done there. Because again, he has taken yet another air speeder down. That is why he deserved a spot as an actual kill of the week to get your votes. Kill G comes from Los Bionos, and we are back on the beaches of Scarif. He's got support from Jin, but he is going up against Krennic. And you know what? He has timed that perfectly to take down the director. And then the focus and his attention changes to the troopers. But this beach is Los Pionos's. No one else's. Has some support from Jin still and a couple of other troopers. So it's time to advance. Looking to activate this uplink. Gets a hit there. No actual kill. 
but it's there they are. They've come round. A nice well evasive done. roll That's to then the get another kill. Gets blinded. But they've managed to get this uplink. Rocket is ready. Nothing at that point. He knows though the troopers and the Empire are gonna be all over them in seconds. Never back down. Uplink has been cut. Our bombers so again, it's time to cut them off. Picks one up there. And as they come across the beaches, they get plowed down. Los Bjornos. Great work here on Scarif. Even a one with the bushes. They could try flying at you. It's just not gonna work. Perfect hiding spot to continue his dominance. Kill H. This is Raj 1997. Playing of 9 Nun up against four villains. We've got Vader, the Emperor, Fett, and Greedo. First up, he has taken down Boba Fett. The bounty hunter is no more. A well-positioned turret. We speed things up just a little bit to a little bit later on in the round. He is now all alone. All of the heroes have been defeated. He is in a very bad place right now. Not much time left on the clock either. Has managed to take down Vader though at distance. Beautiful strike there as well to take down another just stand enemy coming in. And now the Emperor makes his move. But he's soon on the retreat. And Raij is after him pretty sharpish and has taken him down as well. Plus, manages to get that health pickup, which is going to help him out massively. Another turret placed. Two more troopers annihilated there. And it's now just Greedo in his way. This is going to be a huge win. If he can take down Greedo, that's four of the villains all taken down in a single round. And there he is. It's 1v1, and it doesn't last very long at all. What a great play. Kill I. It's Stone Badger 1. Managed to get a good flank on these. Nice three piece to start things off. But there's even more, and they still don't realize he's there as he picks off number four and five. takes to the sky, positioning himself to try and get in the best place to carry on this streak, and that he does. His teammate unfortunately didn't survive, but he's now planted a turret as well, which is going to give him some additional support, and it's now time to move on up. He wants this control point, but he knows he's got a clear many enemies as he possibly can en route to it before he'll even have a chance. And you can always go backwards before you go forwards. That thermal imploder. Nice quad feed from that. Stone Badger definitely going to be the MVP of this round. It's a fantastic piece of work. Great work indeed. And your final choice, it's Kill J. And this comes from Golanis High 247. This is Chewie, here on the Death Star. And it is just an annihilation. That's all I'm going to say. What a mission he is on. And what a demolition he goes on. Dengar is even on the retreat. Chewie is straight after him, though. Defending R2. Dengar comes back in for some more, thinking he might have got away. But no. Dengar has got nothing on Chewie this round, and he falls. And then just watch the feed. It is nuts. Another thousand points easily added onto the score. Heading towards the extraction point. Leading the way. Ground slam. Huge points there as well. And his final challenge, it's Vader. 
going one on one. And you know what? Over 2,000 points. They both fall, but he's done what is necessary to get R2 to the extraction point, or as close as damn it. So there you go, those are your kills. It's now down to you to vote and decide in the comments below which your favorite is and which one you want to move on to the kill of the month and also win themselves a T999 branded t-shirt. All you need to do is write the letter of your favorite in the comments below. And if you want to get involved, it is simple. With any of the series, just leave a link to your clip in the comments of the relevant video that is in relation to your clip. So if you've got a great Star Wars clip, leave it in the comments of this video, and this could be you next week. And don't forget the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Kill of the Year will be live Christmas Day, 25th of December 2016, here on the channel. I cannot wait for you to see that. If you want to check out some previous videos, you can. They are linked on screen now, including the most recent kills of the week from Battlefield 1 and also Resident Evil 7 VR. Follow me on social media. All of the links are at the bottom of the screen. I've been Tommy T. 9 and I'll speak to you again in the next one.